So this video is slightly different from the other ones and I wanted to have something um, from um, Professor Anna Palatma. So um, these slides are not easily available on the internet so I'm um, uh, opening such as a couple of them uh, in the video. Otherwise I would just link them and that would be it. Okay, so... Oh, and they are in Portuguese, so for anyone uh, English who has been following, I'll just translate them quick. So this is just to uh, remind uh, that... Uh, can I point? No, uh, just a sec. Can I... I don't know, anything uh, that let me write over it, maybe? No, there is nothing. So let me just uh, get a pointer here really fast. Okay, good. So this is just a notation thingy. Uh, this one is to say that um, if and only if uh, any element of set A is an element of set B. That's the meaning of this. We can only use this symbol if that's a condition we can verify. For this one, if and only if, where are you? Why the, okay. If and only if um, this and A isn't strictly the same as B. Um, that is, um, we have this and there is an X such that X is not in A and X is in B. And the equal is when we have A uh, and this B and B in A. So uh, they are the exact same set, A and B. Uh, at least they have the exact same elements inside. So that said, um, we can now uh, try to do something similar to what we have done in the previous video and the previous video was the one we talked about um, the function growth and we have done some exercises to check if a function was inside a certain order of magnitude well what we are doing here is to try uh, the same things but now with the order of magnitude itself so <coughs> Here what we are saying is that the justification for this, the order of magnitude n being inside the order of magnitude n squared, um, and, and, and note something, now we are using uh, set notation, we are testing, comparing this set with this set, and we are saying, hey, this set is a subset of this one, right? Uh, we can uh, when we were working with functions, we would say function f of n is an element of the set uh, big O of n squared. So that's a, a, a big thing about this. Now, a good thing about uh, mathematical notation is that uh, I don't think I really have to translate what is written because it is mostly mathematical symbols and you can easily understand what is going on. So I essentially, with this video, I only want to show uh, these slides and well, if you don't understand something here, I can translate if you really ask me in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just going to show these relations and, uh, and that, that will be it. You can pause the, the video. And uh, I will leave you with these exercises. So that's all for this video. Really short video, just some uh, notions. You see again we are using now for functions, but yeah, that's it. See ya in the next one.